What's going on, Screaming Eagles? Jed Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to the Walking Dead Season 1 Definition Edition. And those who remember in our last video, we were trying to find where Clementine is, and well, we ended up getting tra trapped because now Vernon took the boat and such, so. And we got stuck up in the attic for a little bit, but then we broke through the attic and went into the next house. So, we're going to go find Clementine now. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to look around and Wait. go. you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Alright. is full too. Stay quiet. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> Just saying. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yep. Crawford would have got them. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Mm-hmm. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? Might be the way out. Well, let's take a look. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Nope, and that's probably a good thing, too. It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly? You know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, Cross, here. Ooh, that's a mean drop right there. Don't want to go down there like this. River Street's just up ahead. Sweet. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Uh. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well... I'm so sorry. We have to get it back. 
That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Mm -hmm. Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. This is not good. Shit, they're in there! <gasps> Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <laughs> Me and my fucking mouth. Ken, <laughs> what are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't just said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <laughs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? <sighs> Kenny! No! Get Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! We don't know. He could be down there still. He, he could be on the run. He, he, he could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Kenny, no, my best friend, no. I'm sad now. I lost Kenny. <laughs> Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to now a moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Mm-hmm. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. 
You sure? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta do it for Clem. For Clementine. I gotta do it. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Yeah, I am going for it. Marsh house is right over there. I'm going in. somewhere. Going in. Yep. There you are. I got us adjoining rooms. I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Mm-hmm. Go over there.
put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. All right. I'm going to sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have mm. you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. Mm -hmm. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, V. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I 
almost trying to find someplace safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. I wouldn't do that again. How many times did she almost die with you? I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this? Mm-hmm. How could you? The radio, of course. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you? I'm glad too. Hmm. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Just so you don't turn. He would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. 
I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Mm-hmm. going to kill you and take you yeah so i all hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button if you got something to say about it hit down in the comment section want to be part of the screaming eagles for more exclusive content hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by jet eagle 101 have a good one